Hello and welcome back to Rose in the Twilight. I'm your host Tin Man, and yeah, we're gonna go into the Iron Maiden this time around. <laughs> uh always if the fun executions. Well, here we go. Sorry, Rose. God, why does it have... Uh, <laughs> why did it have to slowly, slowly close in? Just why? Uh, oh well, at least you got access to the library now. Like... Uh, just thought, but why does why does the uh, Lord just what's what would be the word decay away once we've offered blood? Also, who set up those execution devices? That that is also a good question. Oh yeah, let's go then. Yes, yeah, seriously, who set up the execution devices? Hmm. Ah, well. Let's see what we have here. Is this... This is the first time we've heard... Music like this? Hello? Uh... Liberian who became a variant. Though the Liberian became a variant and cannot speak anymore, he still has a human consciousness. He accepted Rose, smiled at her, and handed her a letter. Okay. Good morning, Rose. Nice weather today. N -n nice weather. Do you want to go beyond here to the private room? I see. You want to go there. As you wish. Before you go, can I ask you a favour? My favour. Can you... Listen to my... What a starry night. Oh, can you get me the astronomy book from the glass room? I'll tell you about the stars. If you find books on the floor, Make sure to put them back on the shelves, in order of course. I'm counting on you. Hmm, can't actually walk past him. Is he just that engrossed into his books that even the uh, thorns aren't affecting him? Is that what it is? Is that why we should all read so we're not, so it's all engrossed in the books? That we're not affected by a curse? Oh, into the glass room? Okay. Uh, let's see. Two adjacent pictures titled Win Rabbit. Oh. I see, okay, so we've just got a match. Painting? Uh, that one. Uh, I paint it with blood, shall we say. Let's see what's up here, and then we'll make our little friend here. Walk to the right. Do we need to go through there? Ah, in order, eh? Uh, read details, how did... Oh, wrong bu button. Uh...
Nope, okay. Maybe it's because I'm in front of the... History of the Nation. This is the first volume. So there's all the volume. Oh, there's two. What what is button number eight? I think the fact it tells you to press eight, not a base button. I'm gonna actually press eight on my keyboard and see what that see what that see what that does, boy, boy oh boy. Nope, it does nothing. I can't walk down, eh? It'll be fine. What's gonna happen once we put all the books in? Now this is the last one. Hmm. Are the bookshelves gonna? I wish I knew Roman numerals right now. Okay, that was close. Wasn't watching where I was going. Cool. Did that do something? No idea. No idea. Uh. We put the books back, so you know. Hmm? Can't I use the switch? So is this not in the right order? No, what? Is it a right to left scenario we have here? Oh, there we go. Pick that up. There we go. It was a right to left scenario. Okay, let's go. Let's see what else is here. Oh, we have to open that door now, I guess. Oh, we can't even head to the right. Huh. So, I guess we... Oh! Hang on. That opens all. Does that mean... Uh, send Rose down, I guess, first. Yeah. She, she can climb up the ladder. I wonder what's in there. Uh, do I walk off or do I throw her? I'm just going to walk off and hope for the best. Okay. That did not work out. Hmm. Hang on. Cool. Simple. Didn't need to overthink that. <laughs> Whose memories are we seeing now, then? I would like to know the timeline for these memories. That would be kind of useful. So we're reading a picture. Is it the book's memories, then? But then how would it bleed? We're just enjoying the book. It's a nice book. Oh. Oh, it's our own memories. And we got a paper cut. Okay. Okay.
Uh, the bat went after our blood. So it's the bat memory? Is that what that is? Oh, this is actually coded in. Okay, uh, let's just give this castle was built. This is probably this castle. Drowned by a river with strong currents. And on the other side. Flatlands, forest, and town. Okay. Castle of what? Eternal peace. <laughs> Hundred years ago, after the castle was built, demon arrived. Okay. Demon spread terror. Killed people who came near the castle without mercy. They're not killed, attacked. Uh, victims had their blood sucked up, became hard as stone. Uh, was now home to a demon. People banded together. The religious order. Attack the demon. How long has it been? How many have died? Uh, the demon's evil fang was shattered by the power of the grey giant and marking an end to an ever never ending nightmare. And they celebrated their victory every day. Gabriel Era. I wonder how the eras work here. In the year 300 of the Gabriel era, it came to an end, the Bygonia era began, disease started to spread, transforming people into monsters, probably what we've been seeing was found to be the Dark Thorns, tried to exterminate the Dark Thorns, but increased the more victims. Those who came in contact with the Thorns were exiled and received a cruel, smudged out treatment. And we can't read any more. Oh yeah, what was it? Gardeners, guards, maids. Oh, just an old box, okay. I think I can just pick her up from here, right? Can I? I'll switch over and just jump in. That'd just be easier, wouldn't it? Not oh, yay, we're through. Let's see, let's just see what else is in this room before we end up calling it. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a pressure plate on the book, in the bookshelf. Ah. So I guess it's just gather the books for now. Okay, let's just do that then. A picture book. I did want to absorb the colour from that. Long ago, and now forgotten by all, there was a scary monster that lived on a mountain. The monster let out a br cursed breath which brought suffering to the people. Spring never came to the mountain and, nev and winter never ceased. The kind mountain god provided the people with a stone giant. The giant slowly made its way to the mountain and while the monster slept it crushed it then ate it. He's finally returned and everyone lived happily. The monster didn't. And uh, is are we using that giant? Uh, is it gonna eat the thorns? You're gonna do that, buddy. You're gonna do that. Well, okay. Cool. Let's see what's up here. Oh, oh, oh. Camera's out of my control there, so we got a thick ass book over there. We got paintings. What the hell is that? Oh, we'll find out next time. So, that is it for this episode of Rose in the Twilight. I have been your host, Tim Man, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.